One of, the, one of the points at issue when we last spoke two or three weeks ago was the impact of these Christmas strikes on, on the hospitality industry. And, and in a later interview with the, the Radio 4 Today programme, you spoke of what you feel to be a kind of a right wing media conspiracy uh, against your union, not, not to tell the truth. So let me quote The Guardian. Uh, from three days ago, obviously a left-wing newspaper. The Guardian says that your strikes have cost hospitality in this country £1.5 billion in December alone, and that a huge swathe of businesses and jobs are now being lost, which is something I put to you two weeks ago. Um, it looks as if I was kind of right, doesn't it? Well, Richard, you're always right, uh, as everybody in the country knows, uh, and the hospitality industry is rightly cross. I met with the, uh, ed the head of the Hospitality UK organisation and she was livid at the government's inaction and the fact that this government has now subsidised this dispute, the train operating company side of it, by £320 million. Pounds. They've spent that money ensuring that the train operating companies suffer no losses and in fact that they've made profit on every day that strike action has taken place. And indeed, they made profit all the way through the pandemic, along with the rolling stock companies and network rail subcontractors. So while hospitality workers and hospitality businesses are suffering from this dispute, along with our members and the travelling public, the rail operating companies, the train operators, are indemnified. They make no losses whatsoever. And that's Mark Harper's responsibility. And I wish Mr Harper... Uh, a happy new year and hopefully we can work together to get a solution to this. Mm. Well, well, the hospitality industry and many other businesses are suffering mm. because of government policy, because they won't settle this dispute. Well, they say they're suffering because of your strikes and, and I will personally, on, on this side of the desk, try and keep any personal abuse out of this, uh, this conversation, Mr Lynch.